God's plan for man's life is always the best. He wishes all to come to him, yearning for every soul to find its way back to his embrace. This is the story of John, a man whose journey from darkness to light illustrates the transformative power of friendship and faith, John was once a bright young man, brimming with dreams and aspirations. He had a loving family and a promising future ahead of him. However, everything changed when he fell in with the wrong crowd. It began innocently enough, with a chance encounter with Mike, an old acquaintance who possessed a magnetic charm and an allure that John found irresistible. Mike was adventurous, reckless, and lived a life that seemed exciting and free from the mundane constraints of responsibility. John, yearning for excitement, quickly became enamored with Mike's lifestyle, which soon led him down a treacherous path. Mike introduced John to a world of petty thefts, convincing him that it was an easy way to get what they wanted without the burden of hard work. Why struggle for a paycheck when you can have it all without lifting a finger? Mike would say, his eyes gleaming with mischief. Initially, John hesitated, aware of the moral implications of stealing. Yet, over time, the thrill of the act numbed his conscience, and he found himself drawn deeper into a life of crime. Each theft brought a fleeting rush, but it was accompanied by a gnawing sense of guilt that began to fester within him. As the months passed, John's life spiraled out of control. He lost his job, alienated his family, and watched as his once promising future crumbled into dust. The thrill of stealing had turned into a desperate cycle, where he stole not just for excitement, but out of necessity. The small thefts escalated to larger crimes, and with each act, he felt more trapped in a web of deceit and darkness. The camaraderie he once felt with Mike began to feel hollow, as they both spiraled deeper into a life of crime and despair. One evening, as John sat in a dimly lit alleyway, counting his ill-gotten gains, he felt the weight of his choices pressing down on him. The thrill was gone, all that remained was a deep sense of emptiness. Just then, he was approached by David, an old friend from his childhood. David had always been a beacon of light in John's life, a man who lived by principles that John had long abandoned. They had grown apart as John fell deeper into his life of crime, but David had never lost hope for his friend, John, David said, concern etched across his face, why are you living like this? You were meant for so much more. John shrugged dismissively, trying to mask his shame, but David continued. His voice steady and full of compassion. I know you. I remember the dreams you had. You wanted to be someone great, someone who made a difference. This isn't you. John felt a flicker of something he hadn't experienced in a long time, hope. But he was also defensive. You don't understand, David. I'm in too deep. There's no way back for me. David stepped closer, lowering his voice as if to share a secret. You're wrong, John. No one is beyond redemption. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God still has a plan for your life. The truth in David's words pierced through John's hardened exterior. He felt vulnerable, exposed. David continued, God loves you, John. He wants you to return to him. You don't have to carry this burden alone. Romans 10 verse 13 says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. You can be forgiven. John looked into David's eyes, searching for something he thought he'd lost forever, hope. David's unwavering belief in him was a lifeline. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, Matthew 11 verse 28. You don't have to live like this anymore. That night, John couldn't shake David's words from his mind. As he lay in his bed, he envisioned a different life, a life free from guilt, filled with purpose and peace. The image of his family's disappointed faces haunted him, and he realized how far he had strayed from the person he once was. The next morning, 
Driven by an indescribable urge to change, John sought out David. When he found him, David welcomed him with open arms, not a trace of judgment in his demeanor. Instead, he radiated love and understanding. Together, they sat beneath a sprawling oak tree, where John poured out his heart, confessing his sins and the pain he had caused himself and others. As he spoke, John felt an overwhelming sense of relief wash over him. He recalled the words of 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to purify us from all unrighteousness. He knew he was beginning to take the first step toward redemption, with David's guidance, John prayed, asking for forgiveness and strength to turn away from his past. In that moment of vulnerability, he felt a warmth envelop him, a feeling he hadn't experienced in years. It was as if a heavy weight had been lifted from his shoulders, replaced by a newfound hope, as days turned into weeks, John's life began to transform. He sought employment, and with David's help, he found a job that offered him a fresh start. He began to rebuild relationships with his family, slowly earning back their trust. Each day was a struggle, but he was determined to walk a new path, John immersed himself in the scriptures, discovering the beauty of God's grace and mercy. He learned about the power of forgiveness and how it could heal not only his own wounds but also those he had inflicted on others. He found strength in verses like Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. As he walked this new path, John became a living testimony of transformation. He shared his story with anyone who would listen, emphasizing how God had pulled him from the depths of despair. I was lost, but now I am found, he would say, echoing Luke 19 verse 10, which reminds us that Jesus came to seek and save the lost, John's journey was not without its challenges. Temptation still lurked around every corner, but with David's unwavering support and the newfound strength from his faith, he navigated through those difficult moments. He learned to lean on God, finding solace in prayer and fellowship with other believers who encouraged him in his walk of faith, eventually, John realized that he had a calling to help others like him, those who felt lost and trapped in a life of sin. He began volunteering at a local community center, sharing his story and serving as a mentor to young men who found themselves in similar situations. He spoke openly about the dangers of bad influences and the importance of surrounding oneself with people who uplift and encourage. Through his work, John not only helped others find their way but also deepened his own faith. He found joy in giving back, understanding that true fulfillment came from serving others rather than seeking personal gain. His life became a testament to the power of redemption, and he cherished every moment of the journey, as the years passed, John remained steadfast in his commitment to living a life that honored God. He continued to study the Bible, growing in wisdom and understanding of God's Word. He often reflected on the moment David approached him in that alley, realizing how pivotal that encounter had been in his life. One day, as he sat in the park, watching children play and families enjoy their time together, John felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude. He thought of how far he had come, from a life of theft and deceit to one filled with purpose and hope. He remembered the words of David, who had been a catalyst for change in his life, God has a plan for you, John. You were meant for so much more. With a heart full of gratitude, John prayed, thanking God for his grace and for the friends who had stood by him. He understood that God's love is unconditional and that, no matter how far one strays, there is always a path back to him. The story of John is a powerful reminder that redemption is possible for everyone. God desires that all come to him, and through the love of a good friend and the light of the gospel, John found his way back to the life God had always intended for him. In the end, John realized that his life was not just about avoiding sin but about actively pursuing a relationship with God. He had learned that true fulfillment comes from living a life rooted in faith, hope, and love. Every day, he embraced the truth of 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 
John's story continues to inspire those around him, proving that no one is beyond the reach of God's grace. His life stands as a beacon of hope for others who may feel lost, reminding them that God's plan is always the best and that He desires all to come to Him.